Welcome to the SCP Foundation Files. You have entered into the search system SCP-354, The Red Pool. Object Class, Keter. Special containment procedures are as follows. Due to SCP-354's immobile nature, Area 354 has been built around it. Area 354 houses forces and D-Class personnel prepared to deal with threats emerging from SCP-354 as well as researchers studying SCP-354 and its properties. For their own safety, no on-site personnel are to approach SCP-354 at any time. Direct interaction with SCP-354 is permitted only for the purpose of research to eliminate SCP-354 and must be approved by O5 personnel. Area 354 was constructed to contain and neutralize any and all further threats emerging from SCP-354. At the heart of Area 354, a 20-foot wall of concrete reinforced with data expunged has been constructed around SCP-354 to prevent emerging entities from escaping into the area at large. High-speed motion detection cameras are placed atop the wall looking down into the pool and armed guards can easily shoot down into the enclosure from any catwalk placed above the pool. Description: SCP-354 is a pool of red liquid discovered in northern Canada. The liquid is of a consistency similar to that of human blood, hence the colloquial name of the blood pond, but it is not of a biological nature. The pool does not have definite banks. Soil mixes with the liquid until, at a certain point, there is more soil than liquid, and the ground is mostly solid. The liquid becomes denser as one descends deeper into the pool if the pool has a bottom. It is yet to be reached. Periodically, entities emerge from the pool and attempt to escape from the enclosure. Thus far, nearly all creatures emerging from SCP-354 have been extremely hostile and dangerous. SCP-354 is believed to have first been discovered in Redacted by survivors of a plane crash who encountered SCP-354 by chance. SCP-354 had developed into a local urban legend long before the Foundation personnel arrived to deal with the threat. After locating the source of the legend, SCP personnel set up Watch Station Epsilon-38 to monitor the pool and to deter travelers from finding it. SCP-354 was classified as Euclid until its properties were further discovered. At 14.03 hours on Redacted, an unidentified entity emerged from SCP-354. Contact with Watch Station Epsilon-38 was lost. Mobile Task Force Redacted was dispatched to deal with the entity and were eventually successful. All personnel at the Watch Station Epsilon-38 were found dead. Area 354 was subsequently constructed to contain SCP-354. The following documentation are partial logs of entities that have emerged from SCP-354 prior to event 3520, SCP-354-1. The original entity which destroyed Watch Station Epsilon-38 resembled a giant bat neutralized by Mobile Task Force Redacted. SCP-354-2 Bear-sized mammalian creature covered in razor-sharp spines resembled an encada, was virtually bulletproof but was unable to escape the enclosure surrounding the pool and was neutralized via napalm. SCP-354-3 Black metallic sphere capable of levitation emitted concentrated levels of radiation and precisely directed beams sufficient to instantly cripple and later result in death any personnel within range. Then area head doctor redacted, struck SCP-354-3 with a sledgehammer, disabling it. SCP-354-3 then self-detonated, causing minor structural damage and severely wounding doctor redacted and doctor redacted. Dr. Redacted made a full recovery and has been commended for his bravery. SCP-354-4 Humanoid reptilian creature, approximately 4.6 meters in height, 15 feet tall, escaped both the wall enclosure and Area 354 altogether. Gunfire caused very little physical harm to the creature and was highly ineffective. Mobile Task Force Omega-7 Pandora's Box was dispatched and was successful in neutralizing the creature. SCP-354-5 All data has been expunged for security reasons. SCP-354-6 Appeared to be a human male of Indian descent. As the enclosure around the pool had not yet been fully repaired, 
SCP-3546 was immediately shot before it had a chance to escape. Arrowhead Doctor, redacted, has expressed his displeasure in the rash execution of SCP-354-6, which testing revealed to be identical to an average human being. Data corrupted. The corrupted data covers SCP-354-7 through 354-13. We will resume documentation now. SCP-354-14 A majority of the creature's body remained well beneath the surface of the pool. Five octopus-like tentacles were seen emerging from the pool and reached up over the enclosure. Several D-class personnel were grabbed by the tentacles and hauled back beneath the surface of the pool. After receiving massive damage from gunfire, SCP-35414 retreated back into the pool and disappeared. No personnel were taken by the creature were ever recovered. SCP-354-15 Feline creature composed of blue-hued crystalline structure later revealed to be ice was able to jump above the walled enclosure and was agile enough to dodge most gunfire. It was actively hostile and mauled any personnel that engaged it. Subject engaged SCP-354-16 upon its emergence from the pool and was terminated in the fight. SCP-354-16 Feline creature composed of a dark red-black stone later revealed to be partially solidified magma. Gunfire proved mostly ineffective against its hide was not hostile to personnel and did not attempt to escape the walled enclosure until being engaged by SCP-354-15. Successfully terminated SCP-354-15 and grew less active as, it, as its body cooled. After fully solidifying and having remained motionless since, subject was moved to Dr. Redacted Office for aesthetic purposes. There appears to be no entry for SCP-354-17. SCP-354-18, metallic humanoid machine described by several D-class personnel as a Terminator. Subject possessed a cloaking device rendering it invisible to human eyes. Subject was highly adept at combat and killed nearly 90% of the of Area 354's guard personnel as it rampaged through the facility. Approximately 60 minutes after emerging from the pool, subject ceased functioning and powered down. Subject was later dismantled and its power cell was disposed of. The remains of the subject are currently under study in a classified lab. Note from Arrowhead Doctor Redacted. That's thrice now that we've had to fall back to Pandora's box to deal with stuff coming out of SCP-354. Abel can't complain though. You can tell he enjoyed fighting SCP-35411. Maybe we should set up some kind of hotline to MTF Omega-7. The following documentation are logs of events that have occurred involving SCP-354. One document in particular has been a mystery to the SCP Foundation. Document 354-3-A. This is a log of an exploratory mission titled Mission 354 Alpha. This document will be linked in the description below for your further study. Before we continue, a note from Area Head, Dr. Redacted. It has been 22 months since the last entity emerged from the pool. For this, the longest period of time between emergencies was 8 months. I suspect this means one of two things. Either the red pool has died or powered down, or whatever the correct term for it is. Or it is charging up for something big to come through. The O5 believe the former is the most likely explanation as it would record 30% of our total personnel and cut 25% of our funding. While I can only hope that they are correct, if the latter situation is true, we're soon to face some terrible monstrosity. We won't have anywhere near the force necessary to deal with it. I worry for all our safety. Document 354-4, Event Log 354-20 In the morning of, data expunged, the entire staff of Area 354 evacuate the facility. However, the staff also shut down power to the area and took a number of supplies and vehicles from the facility, indicating that the evacuation had not been done due to an emergency. Mobile Task Force Theta-12 was dispatched to investigate the cause of the evacuation and if possible make contact with the area staff. However, before MTF-012 could make contact with the Area 354 or its evacuees, the area on-site warhead was detonated resulting in the destruction of the entire facility and the deaths of data expunged. 
NTF Theta-12 was ordered to make contact with the evacuated personnel and in the event of hostility was given clearance to terminate any uncooperative personnel. A large convoy of vehicles taken from Area 354 was spotted heading southwards from Area 354 at high speeds. Final audio logs from NTF Theta-12 indicate that the convoy was made up of Area 354 staff and that the previous chain of command had broken down in its entirety. With armed D-Class personnel and research personnel firing upon NTF Theta-12, NTF Theta-12 was annihilated and no further contact with the former personnel of Area 354 has been made since the event. Document 354-5 Following the total destruction of Area 354, the Red Pool containment site was constructed in its place. Basic maps of the new facility can be found at Redacted, Redacted and Redacted. Unlike the previous facility, which was focused on research and neutralization of the entities emerging from SCP-354, the new facility is devoted in its entirety to the containment of SCP-354 and entities which may emerge from it, as well as any unforeseen forces which it may create directly. This is due to largely advisement of the new site head, Data Expunged, who believes that the events of Log 354-20 were the result of a psychic or mental attack generated by scp 354 itself. The following document is an interview regarding an attempt to drain the Red Pool. I will be reading both parts. Please note I will be referring to each individual as doctor or agent respectively. Document 354-6 Interview regarding data expunged. Doctor, is it alright if I record this? Agent, yes go ahead. Doctor, good good. So let's start at the beginning. What happened at the Red Pool containment site? Agent. Looking back now, it seems strange that nobody, nobody ever suggested draining the pool. When Doctor, redacted, came up with it, it seemed like such a good idea at the time. Doctor. Exactly what about the idea was so appealing? Agent. It was a way out. That SCP entry. I've read what it says. It's a joke. It makes it seem like we have the pool under control. Doctor. I take it you do not think that? Agent. There's a half meter slab of reinforced concrete in place over that damn pool, and yet every time some beast tries to come through, somehow it manages to get loose into the building. People die. Every single time. I've seen, data expunged, a man's own intestines. Can you imagine what that looks like, old man? Doctor. So to you, of course, to the others, stationed at the Red Pool, containment site as well. Draining the pool seemed like a fine solution to the suffering caused by SCP-354. Agent. Chair scrapes across the floor as Agent stands up. Suffering? That thing just doesn't... Doctor. Please, please sit down. This is going on record. Pause as Agent sits down. So, the O5 approved the draining of SCP-354. Then what happened? Agent. They evacuated the non-essential personnel to a location a couple of kilometers away, leaving just basic defense crews and the people who run the equipment. Mostly D-class personnel, plus a few agents to keep things going. Doctor. And you were among those agents? Agent. Yes, I was. Doctor. How did they go about draining the pool? Agent. Tech guys brought in this big pump thing with all these hoses. We retracted the slab but, Doctor, but, Agent, have you ever had a dream where it seems so real but you knew you were dreaming and it felt like you had to wake up to escape from it? Doctor, I can't really say I have. Agent, yes you have, we all have. That's what it felt like when they put the hose into it to try to drain it. Everything stopped being real. It was like we had to escape like right now had to escape doctor and you were the only one feeling this sensation agent no everyone had it at the same time it came from that pool doctor please lower your voice what happened when they activated the pump agent we never did we couldn't it it just wouldn't let us doctor what wouldn't let you agent the pool the pool just it wouldn't let us. Doctor, please, I ask you to lower your voice. This is going on record. Agent, 
Up until now, it's been content, just throwing monsters at us. It's been playing, but now we have it locked up, and we just try to execute it. It's now angry, Doctor, to the PA. Guards, please restrain the agent. Agent, my buddy measured its banks once and compared them to photos from its first discovery. You know what he found? The agent grabs the doctor. Doctor, guards, guards! Agent, it's growing. The pool is growing. It gets bigger and stronger every day, and we've made it angry. No, get your hands off me! Doctor, sedate him. We'll continue this in the morning if he's lucid by then. The doctor shuts off the recording device and the interview ends. Further study of SCP-354 has been authorised by O5 personnel, including additional measurements of the pool's measurement from original discovery to current times. Document 354-3-A, Log of Exploratory Mission 354 Alpha, will be contained in the next video relating to SCP-354. Consider it a part two to this briefing. Thank you very much for attending this briefing, and goodbye.